Sadnam Aloha, and Mercury is squaring Mars, and Mars is in discord, right? So we have interference, squaring, discord. What does this all mean? Well, we're thinking a lot about our values. You know, Venus is highly magnetic, and Venus attracts to us what we love and what we value. So the energy can feel really stuck right now, like you're swimming in molasses, and that's because Venus is in retrograde. And this is because the energy right now, it's not about doing and staying busy, right? The busy bee, doing business as usual, right? It's not about that. So you may feel exhausted because you're fighting this flow of energy, and this interferes, that's the shadow, with your ability to attract what you truly value into your life. Because you don't even know what it is, right? So it's really about calling us to stop, Venus retrograde. Stop, slow down, go inside, and ask ourselves some core questions before moving forward, full steam ahead in a couple weeks. So what are your values? What is important to you? What do you truly need? Right, You should know your top five values. And then when it's time to make a decision in your life, you can go back to your list, your top five values. So is this decision right align with my top five values? It makes it a lot easier right, to, to move through life when you start living by your values. But you also have to look at the potential shadow here where your behavior can be out of alignment with your values, right? So the shadow is very tricky. And this is where you make excuses or try to justify, okay? So maybe you have a top value is healing the earth, and yet you still have this little secret, you know, using plastics and even not taking care of your own body, which is your planet, right? Your planet Earth, like little behaviors can be out of line with your values. You can catch yourself on this, right? Because that's leaking your energy. So a good idea here is to spend a couple of hours, right? Give yourself a couple of hours discovering the values that are unique to you, like really exploring why do I have this value? Is it mine or did I inherit it from my father and mother, right? Because often we hold these values from our childhood. They're not even ours. So to help you out here, I have a PDF that lists uh, pages and pages and pages of values. So you can go through this long, long list and then pick out 20, right? And then slowly reduce it down to five. So the PDF's free. So you just go beneath the video. You'll see the link, click it, and then download the PDF. But don't do that now. Do that later. Or if you do, pause but come back. So interference, the shadow here in Mercury and Venus, it's the frequency that we, we send out when we're not being our authentic self, right? So imagine yourself, you know, you're, uh, you're broadcasting something out, you're broadcasting you out as a frequency. So it's distorted, right? That's the interference. So when we're in fear, right? When you're in fear, you're in the frequency of... Uh, interference right so that's exactly what you attract to you so you send out the frequency and it's distorted it's like a radio station that's not quite set you know you we hear a lot of static and the sound goes in and out so that's what happens to your frequency so the static is your karma that you inherited when you took a physical body and this karma is all your ancestral memories held within the DNA of your physical body, right? You inherited all these memories from your ancestors right through your DNA. So this is what creates static. It's your broadcast signals off because of this uh, karma. So this shadow is also about the people you attract into your life. And why do you think interference is going to attract, right? All your karma buddies, 
the most challenging, emotionally charged relationships in your life. The ones that push all your buttons, right? These are not your allies. These are what's called your karma buddies, which is uh, an effect of this shadow of interference in your DNA. So we're born, as a human, we're born in one of 144,000 lines, right? These are 144,000 uh, different templates or fractal lines. Your soul group is another way of expressing it. So you belong to a soul group, and these are your allies. These are the people that are here to help you with your purpose, and you're here to help them. But what we attract is our karma buddies, right? Our, we don't attract our soul group with interference. We attract our karma buddies. And this is conflict and drama and loss and anxiety and anger and depression. And it's learning through suffering, right? It's the snail trail and it's not fun, right? It's not fun at all. Have you ever asked yourself that or wondered, like, why why are relationships so difficult on this planet, right? Couples fighting dysfunctional families, dysfunctional workplaces. That's because of this shadow of interference. We're not attracting our soul tribe, right? So this is why we're all in such conflict on the planet. And it can make life difficult, Right? Like you're feeling like you're not being supported at all in your life. So the shadow of interference brings us another person, right? But not in our soul tribe. So what we've inherited is our ancestral karma that's different, right? So you attract another person, say, in a romantic relationship, and they're from a different soul tribe than you, right? You're different. So they've got different karma, Right, and then you have your different karma, right? You're these ancestral memories coming together at conflict one with one another, and then you work that out as a couple, right? And this all gets played out on the external, this healing that has to be done, and it's hard work, right? It's hard work generally. So let's say you have a partner with an addiction, and you're trying to help them. Okay, maybe that's your main dynamic. It's not just you and your partner. It's your whole ancestral line, right? All your seven generations from the past that this relationship wound, this dynamic's been playing out, right, for a long time, seven generations worth, right? So that's why I can feel so intense. So it's not personal, it's impersonal. And... And all this ancestral memory has to clear so that we can move into this new age of Aquarius, right? We're evolving into a whole new species. But we have to remember ourselves, right? We're one part animal, one part human, and one part angel. These three parts of ourselves. And our animal self is the shadow self, right? So think about relationships with your dog. Say you're bringing your dog to a new dog park. There's a bunch of dogs out there. You introduce your dog to the rest of the dogs, right? What do they do? Well, they smell each other, right? So we do that too, but it's more subtle. So the scent of someone can let you know immediately if they're in your soul tribe or not, if they're an ally or not. Your body will feel attracted or repulsed. Okay, so attraction is like, oh, this is like your body's attracted to that person. Then that's the soul tribe. But if your body's repulsed, right, by that person, it's very subtle. That is all, that's a sign that that person is not, is a karma body. So why when dating someone, right, you want to make sure, that's why when you're dating someone, you want to make sure that they don't wear colognes, perfumes, or other scents, right, that mask that their own scent of their body, right, and you want to smell them to make sure, you know, in our, in our sense of smell is very uh, uh, sensitive, right, you don't have to be on, right on top of someone to smell them, 
<laughs> You'll just know it's subtle. So when you're with somebody from your own fractal, your soul tribe, you're going to love the, the way that they smell, right? You feel comfortable in yourself when, you're, when you meet someone from your soul tribe. They feel so familiar. That's also a good sign. And it's not drama. There's not a lot of drama. There's not a lot of highs and lows, you know, that emotional roller coaster. There's not that in it intensity, right? It's not so challenging. There's not so much friction because there's no karma, right? This is when we move into the frequency of teamwork. And this is about working together. How we're gonna work? How are we gonna do it? How are we gonna work together? Well, when we're with our karma buddies that we're in right now, we waste way too much time and energy fighting with one another rather than right joining forces to solve a universal problem. So think of climate change. There's a good example. If everyone dropped the fighting, who's right, who's wrong, who did that, who did that, but came together for this one common goal. Can you imagine that if everybody could drop their grudges and their, their ego basically and come together? Well, this is teamwork. And this is when we're in our fractal line. This is our soul tribe coming together without the karma, without the interference, without the fighting and the conflict, right? There's an amazing potential of creativity that's found in the spirit of the human when we come together, right, to work together. This is teamwork. So this week we have Mars and Discord squaring Mercury and interference, so this is about the masculine not listening to the feminine. This is about lacking empathy, the masculine uh, lacking empathy. And, right, and empathy is the city of discord. So we're, re uh, we're really learning to relate to one another. And the essence of re any relationship is communication. If there's no communication, there's no relationship. Relationship requires communication to exist. So this, to me, is about listening to your own self, right? Always bring it back to the uh, self, the individual. What do you need? And listening to yourself. And you can't truly listen to another person unless you learn to listen to your own self. So this requires a gentleness, a tenderness towards the self. This is being patient with yourself. This is staying relaxed and open with yourself. It's valuing yourself. It's honoring yourself, right? This is deep listening. So for you as an individual, it's about becoming a group of one. All of you must be in alignment, right? That's the goal here. And often, we ourselves are living in conflict. Remember, this external world is just a reflection of what's going on in each and every person on this planet, right? Because our minds, think of the conflict. Our mind wants to do this, go this way, and do this. The body wants to go and do this. And then the soul wants to go and be this, right? That's the origin of the word yoga, is to uh, Sanskrit, to yoke. Right to unite all of these parts of ourselves so that we can be uh, a group of one. So when you're one with yourself, when you're a group of one, you're in the frequency of teamwork because you're working as a team, right? So this is when you'll attract your soul tribe to you. And if you feel like you're not with your soul tribe yet, right? You feel like you haven't met them yet or or you're somehow isolated, right, that you're with karma buddies only, feeling like the black sheep, the best thing that you can do is not to go in despair and hopelessness because that's the ego wants you there. But the best thing you can do is to purify your own frequency through your spiritual work. You want to purify your broadcast signal. It's the best thing you can do. And when your frequency is purified, you'll attract your soul allies. So to help you out, I created a full Kundalini Yoga and Meditation class. It's 45 minutes. 
and it heals ancestral karma. So firstly, it's the Kundalini Yoga Kriya that unlocks the unconscious mind. And this is our collective mind. This is the mind that we all share. It's where all the fears and the phobias and the neuroses and the terror and the anxiety, all the stuff we don't want to look at, right? The shadow, all of that lives here. So this Kriya releases this unconscious pressure that's coming from your ancestors. So it will bring relief. And then a Kundalini Yoga meditation to clear that karma, clear it up. So you can download it. There's a link in the information box, $9.99. You'll be sent the link, and you can download it and own it. You can practice it anywhere. And there's different versions. So there's even a version small enough to fit on your smartphone. So check that out. And also I have the values PDF, right? The link, that's all free. The link's down below too. So please leave your comments below. I love reading them. And subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook or Instagram where I post daily uplifting memes. And if you want to support my work, you can give through PayPal or Patreon. All links can be found below. And I also have a free complete Kriya in meditation for attracting money. It's Kundalini Yoga Kriya Meditation. So you just visit my website, sign up for my newsletter to receive it. Okay, so take good care of yourself this week, and aloha satnam.